Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. This side Priya Bhatia, and in this specific video, uh, we will be discussing about the important question which is being asked from me multiple number of times by a lot of learners who are starting their career journey in data science specific domain. And the question is, I hope you all relate to this question, that Priya, we are in the you know uh, era where everywhere we see that generative ai is booming right uh, almost maximum companies are using nowadays generative ai new startups are coming up uh, with respect to that specific use cases so in 2024 is that relevant to study mathematical part for data science or we can directly skip that and start uh, you know working towards generative ai or start upskilling ourselves in terms of that specific domain because maximum job opportunities we are seeing nowadays in that specific domain as well so uh, this question uh, is specifically uh, coming from the students who are either freshers or who are just started their journey in this specific domain uh, the the exact answer if i want to give to you in a short and crisp manner is uh, yes yes the mathematical part is today also very relevant uh, when I'm talking about the maths, I'm talking about three specific things in maths. Uh, to be very frank, when we're talking about mathematics, we are not talking about some higher, uh, you know, subject matter expert in maths. We are just talking about a basic maths, which we already have covered up in our 11th, 10th, 12th classes. So three broad categories, which I usually divide uh, in data science specific domain. One is linear algebra. You should know about the concepts of matrix determinants, eigenvalues, eigenvectors. And the important, uh, if you will ask me resource, which when I was learning this specific uh, part is the lectures by Gilbert Strang. Uh, I will try to share that resource also in the description of this video. I think in the last video also, I have mentioned the same thing. Uh, linear algebra plays a very important role whenever we are dealing with images, whenever we are dealing with the uh, decomposition techniques, uh, dimensionally reduction techniques like PCA in machine learning. So it plays a very significant role in that aspect, right? The second thing which I have talked about is calculus, right? Uh, if you will try to observe very keenly the maths behind deep learning neural networks, how the feed forward or back propagation neural network works, what's the internal maths behind that, and all the optimizers that we have, for example, gradient descent optimizer, uh, which we usually study as a part of deep learning and machine learning as well. So you will be able to observe that in that we have crucial aspect of differentiation. Uh, again, other things like integration, which we have learned in our lower classes, loss functions, all of these things are very critical. If you don't have any idea, obviously you will face a lot of difficulty. It's just that I think one time revision is required and you will be able to get a great understanding for the same. The third aspect which I have talked about is stats. A uh, few, uh, I think days back only, I have launched one of my course with respect to stats where I have covered up all the complete curriculum uh, with respect to whatever topics are important in stats and linear algebra. You can go and check it out those topics as well uh, to just check, check out the syllabus. And if you feel that you are already aware about these topics, uh, that's well and good. If you will feel that you, you want some resource to study that, you can refer that course as well, where all the recordings will be available for the live sessions. So what I'm trying to uh, convey over here that in stats, we have lot many concepts. Uh, when we talk about stats, there are two components, descriptive and inferential. Both of them plays a very significant role in data science. And you should have a clear idea about what are the key components we have in descriptive stats? What are the key components we have in inferential stats? Now the question is why? In machine learning, whenever we are doing EDA tasks, whenever we are trying to handle the missing values, whenever we are trying to handle the outliers or detect the outliers, these aspects plays a very significant role. And always remember, whatever advancements will happen, uh, traditional machine learning algorithms still plays a very significant role. If you will observe, all the banking domains are still using machine learning algorithms to train their models to detect that whether 
we should give loan to xyz customer or not right okay on top of that generative ai things are also coming up to create impressive chatbots and all those stuffs but always remember that uh, the foundation the baseline will always be a mathematics for all of these stuffs if you are not strong with that aspect definitely maybe you can create a building on top of that but if the foundation is not strong always remember that you will in future uh, won't be able to do well in terms of giving the interviews yes even if you are applying for generative ai role also interviewers can ask you the questions with respect to mathematical part just to understand that how strong your foundations are also when you are working in the companies when you get the projects uh, obviously when you are working in generative ai roles also there is a concept of uh, reinforcement learning human feedback obviously in that uh concept maybe you are applying the prompt you are giving a prompts to the uh you know uh user and that is where you are trying to train the model as per the reinforcement learning part in almost all the scenarios if you are not aware about the concepts yourself how will you provide better prompts how will you able to give the better responses and if you will not uh give a proper label data how the uh, you know training will happen in an appropriate manner so you i think get a sense that everything is correlated somehow even though things are going on an advancement level we don't know after 5 years what's new uh, come up in ai things are evolving in a very fast pace and definitely we need to upskill ourselves with the advancements as well but always make sure that uh, foundations are really important and mathematics plays a very key role in that so please make sure uh, don't skip maths uh, even though things are going on a very fast pace in the generative ai uh still in today's era as well maths plays a very significant role if you want to uh, see the complete end to end curriculum also i will attach the course link of my stats course as well you can refer just refer the course uh, page and you will be able to get an idea that what topics are important to cover up with respect to statistical part with respect to linear algebra part with respect to calculus part you will get a thorough understanding for the same and if you will feel like that you are not aware about those topics and you want the latest content from my my end you can always go and purchase that course right with this uh, i hope that you find today's video very helpful and it really answers your question i have seen lot many people have this confusion so i thought that let's create one video and try to share my perspective on this part uh, please if you like it uh, if you find it very insightful please do hit like button share this video with everyone and with this i will see you all very soon in the upcoming videos bye bye everyone and see ya